Hey YouTube viewers, Mr. Math here with Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Time to proceed. Now here's the lock that we just got the combination for. And we're looking for bird, bird, bird. And there we go. And now it's time for the most ridiculous part of this game. Some people would probably find this the most annoying part of this game. So these weirdos think that I'm a princess, apparently. Yeah, so... This is a fairly common trait, or trope, I think would be a better word, in video games where your character goes into a palace somewhere and gets mistaken for part of the, the royal family. Shantae is not playing along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a good reason why she doesn't remember, man. A very good reason. Uh -huh. Yeah, Shantae and Infinite Wisdom, not really. I mean, she's bright, but uh, then again, I guess this kind of kowtowing to royalty is normal. Yeah. So yeah, it's the mistaken for royalty trope. Star Wars reference. Yeah, so I have no items, including the magic lamp. I'm basically back to the uh, introductory level where I can only jump and hair whip. Now the way to escape should be pretty obvious, but let's look around a bit. So here's the front door to the room with the switch in the wall. Can't go out that way, but if we whip the uh, jar there, there's our escape route. Now, the real reason why this part is, would be so annoying to some people is because it is a stealth part. These big guys whose faces consist of just a pair of blue dots you don't want to be spotted by them. And that's actually pretty easy because they have a narrow field of vision. You pretty much have to be right in front of them. On the other hand, they have a very long view. So, you know, as long as I stay either over, either under or over their field of view, I'm okay. Now this is actually the place to grind for money. Because there are lots of places where you can find collections of those large jars. And those large jars have 10 gems each. So I just got 30 gems. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you go through doors in this place, all of the pots in the area you were just in reset. So if I were to go in here and then come back this way, the 60 gems that I just got up here have come back. So I am now 120, actually 150 gems richer than I was when I first came through this door right here. So 
This is not really the time to grind for gems, but afterward, when I have the magic uh, lamp back and can draw gems in from a distance, then I can come back in here and grind for gems. And yeah, as long as you're standing in the shadowy area like this, you are hidden from their view, regardless of whether you're in front of them or not. Yeah, these guards, on the other hand, they don't take you back. If you are seen, you are taken back to that room where you started. But only by these big guys. Anyone else sees you, um, you're still fine. Okay, and here's the save guy. Almost messed that one up. And up here is... Let's see. That's not a way to money over there. Anyway, so we have to go this way. Well, we don't have to, but we want to because... Treasure chest with a key. That... Oh, that was unfair jumped right on me and I couldn't avoid it. But yeah, this is an excellent place to grind for gems. And now I'm going to go down here. And in here is another treasure room. This time with, I believe, ten of these big jars. Uh, I was wrong, that was eight. Eight of those big jars. So that's 80 gems right there. I'm gonna be pretty rich when I get out of here. But yeah, this is a place to grind for gems. If you want to. And I was just here. This is where I climbed the way up before. So I don't want to go that way. But not a complete waste of time, because it caused these eight jars to respawn, so 80 more gems. Look at that, I'm well over the 400 gem mark. Now I want to go this way. And yes. Okay. Notice I am standing on top of a statue, and the statue is looking left. It's kind of subtle, but yeah, that leads you to the heart squid here in the palace. The other one is just a jar of 10 gems. It's pretty subtle and it's easy to miss. I got lucky and noticed it on my very first playthrough. And lots of rats. Fortunately, Shantae is not a stereotypical, you know, video game heroine who is afraid of mice. And is that Sky? That looks like Sky. That looks like Roddy Tops. What are they doing here? So they're behind closed doors. And 
Yeah, so this guy, he doesn't take me back. And I just checked out the map on the gamepad screen. I have two keys. Okay. I have two keys and I need three. So now if I get taken back to the room, I can come right back out at any time. And this room is the way out, but I can't get through here yet. But maybe Sky and Roddy Tops will help me if I save them. And hey look, it's a Cackle Bat, all caged up. Once I have the magic jar, once I have the magic lamp back, I want to come back for it. Okay. Another secret area with uh, money. Now, I've already been up here. You'll probably recognize this. You, you recognize this room. And you also recognize this room. So rather than going back in there again, I'm going down here and along this way. Okay, I came through this door from the big central area. And another secret area that leads to more money jars. So yeah, this place, lots and lots of money all over the place. Ah. Well, that was mean. Ah, missed it. Fair. Okay. This door should take me to the final key. There are three locked doors in that big central room, and I need three keys. I have two of them already. And here's the third key, all right. All right, so I have the three keys, and now I just need to see about those three doors. And yeah, automatically gets me back up here, and now I can go down the fast way. Oops. Get out of my way. And now I go back to the central area. Okay, so this ought to be Sky. Yeah, so. Uh, you know, what's wrong with this place, really? They already found a princess, and then they found two more? Uh, okay, seriously, what's wrong with them? You have shoes? I can't see any shoes. Okay, so if that was Sky, then Roddy Tops ought to be down here. <laughs> yeah, Roddy Tops is, uh, um, rather cheerful about this. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, sure. As long as you go, you can do what you want. And now the third door up in the top left. And I'll bet you can figure out who's in there. Yeah. I wonder why she came looking for Shantae. I mean, she's been insistent on her going off and doing this by herself until now. Risky Boots has a very distinctive walk. Anyway, so everyone came down here. And so I needed to fetch all three of them and bring them here. Oh, come on. That was uncalled for. Yeah, everyone's kind of misunderstanding each other. Yeah, Risky is... Well, whatever else she might be, she's a very practical personality. Now they're disagreeing again. <laughs> Roddy Tops, ever the Joker of the group. Yeah. So Shantae takes it upon herself to look into things. Um. Okay, I think this guy needs glasses, or maybe he just needs to get beaten up. I'm undecided. Good idea, dude. Fortunately for him, Risky is distracted by a new arrival. Yeah, so <laughs> a big old lampshade just making fun of this entire trope. Why did you send your royalty to go shopping? Aren't there, you know, menials to do that? Saved you from what, dude? You know what? I can believe that. It happened four times in the same hour. Hey, you're the one who came along. She didn't drag you here. Hmm. Okay, so that's over. Now I need to get that cackle bat. Well, duh. What morons? Okay. While I'm here... Come on, there we go. Let's refill my life. Yeah, 
Yeah, basically a cackle bat pinata. Okay, let's see how to deal with this. Um, I want to go farm for a bit of money, but I can't quite recall how to get there. So now I don't need to worry about these guys' attention. I can't quite get up there. Darn it, I don't want to go through there. It's much faster this way. Okay, here we go. This is a pretty good place to grind for money. Just keep going in and out to get 60 gems. But I'm not going to do this very long. One more time after this, and then I will proceed. But you know, it's just useful to come out of here with tons of gems. Okay, that's enough. Time to proceed. I hope I can get out of here quickly. Okay, here we go. As long as I'm here, might as well get a bit more. If I had a few more advanced items, I could get up there a lot faster, but... Oh well. So yeah, that's the way to grind for money in this game. Yeah, so... They don't really say that you want to bring the golden pickaxe to this guy, but uh, you do. Yeah, those are definitely not birds. Cowards. Oh well, they did their job. Now we can get through and head on to the island dungeon. Or Den of Evil as it's called. Oops. Okay, so... Again, you want to pin her up against the uh, edge so that you can start really pounding her. There's nothing in here, I don't think. I was wrong. There are jars in here. I didn't realize that. And this is a breakable block, but I can't break it yet. Yeah, I'm doing really good with these scorpion ladies. Normally they give me a lot more trouble. Quicksand. You don't die right away. You have time to jump out. But, uh, you know, you can see the skull and crossbones coming from it. The pit poison. So, you know it's dangerous. On the other hand... <clears throat> on the other hand, this one here in the middle is not showing pit poison, so...
look what it is. I just wanted to show off her I'm using the magic lamp dance again. And we come out right next to this, the place where it was. And another breakable block that I can't open up yet. There we go. Really, they normally give me a lot more trouble than that. I'm rather impressed that I'm dealing with the scorpion ladies so easily. more of those guys? Doesn't look like it. And here is the entrance to the dungeon. And look, a heart squid right out in plain sight, but blocked in by some blockable, by some breakable blocks, so I can't get to it. And you know what? This video is running a bit over time compared to what I want so I'm going to cut it here, and I will see you next time, viewers, on Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Later!